Why constantly new revelations? If the word of God cannot be protected from being changed because human will is free and translations were not always handled by spiritually awakened people, who thus were also able to err, you can understand that this is the reason for new revelations which time after time had to correct the distortions, so that the word of God would be able to lay claim to the pure truth. Exposing such misguided teachings would have been impossible without such new revelations, especially if people relied on the fact that I myself protect my word from all changes. However, it must also be understandable to you that the human being's free will makes this impossible for me since I will never inhibit it, even if it concerns the pure truth. For I also gave the human being the assurance that he is guaranteed to live in truth if he desires it himself. And thus you can never rely on the fact that you will receive unchanged spiritual knowledge if the word of God is preached to you, but you have the assurance that you will receive the truth if only you desire it. Then the preacher, even if he is spiritually unawakened, will be guided in his sermon, so that he often will not say what he had intended to say but that his words will be given to him by me. Precisely because a person seriously requests to be instructed in the truth. If the wish only to learn the truth arose in many people then the preachers soon would also recognize the error and they would try to listen more to their inner voice which is instructing them otherwise. Yet all people have the option to recognize what is wrong in my supposed word, for love enlightens their spirit and only ever accepts the correct and unadulterated information. The person will no longer be able to think wrongly once he is illuminated by the inner light of love. And only then will he notice where error has crept in, where the adversary was able to take effect because people were lacking the light of love. Then he will also know that the human being cannot solve problems with his intellect alone if the spirit within him is not supporting him. Then he will know why the necessity for corrections arises time and again, which I constantly send to humanity again in the form of new revelations. And I will continue to reveal myself to people who love me and keep my commandments, as I have promised. For one misguided thought results in many more, until finally just a distorted image remains of me, which reflects everything but a good and exceedingly loving God, who wants to be a father to you all. And since you have already accepted so many misguided spiritual values, a God of love is strange to you, you are still distant from him you do not recognize him as your father and therefore do not strive towards him either. And whatever you hear from him is likely to separate yourselves from him even more. I, however, want to gain your love and therefore make use of every opportunity to speak to you, if not directly then through people who allow my spirit to work in them who either convey my direct word to you or who think correctly and are also able to instruct you truthfully. For it is extremely important that you can be guided into correct thinking, that you know what you can accept and what you ought to reject. But don't believe that your correct thinking is guaranteed if you gather your knowledge from the book of books since I do not coerce the human being's will I cannot prevent him from interpreting the spiritual information from this book according to either his own preferences or to his imperfect understanding. For every word I have spoken conceals a spiritual meaning, and only the human being's spirit is able to recognize it, which will be awakened to life through love but then will also guide the human being into every truth, as I have promised. Amen.